Hi there, my name's Simon Duffy. Um, hola, uh, I'm the director of the Centre for Welfare Reform and also one of the members of Citizen Network. Um, so in England, when COVID-19 hit, we saw some really interesting things happen in our communities. The first thing was that people very quickly started organising um, community networks, um, often using Facebook and WhatsApp to quickly create little groups in small local areas where people could stay in touch and help each other out. This happened very quickly and with no top-down organisation. It was already just people themselves doing it and then people copying what other people were doing. Um, and I suppose what we saw there was, first of all, um, a desire to help and then people having to find the courage to help because sometimes it meant being a little bit embarrassed, having to reach out to neighbours that you'd not been in touch with and then a little bit of organisation to help. So people created little systems, some people took on little leadership roles and, and that, has, um, that was very, very helpful. I think what that has led to is lots of conversations in the country about why are we not doing this all the time? Why have we had to wait for a pandemic, for a crisis to realise that we can help each other as neighbours? And so some of us have started to organise uh, something we're calling the Movement for Neighbourhood Democracy. Uh, and we're working with Citizen Network to do that. So it's uh, we're interested in finding communities where they want to say this, the power should really belong to us as a community. There are lots of things that we should be able to organise ourselves as a community. Um, and actually, there's a lot of things we can do now without any permission. We can we can create a plan for our community. We can create decision-making arrangements for our community. We can create leadership. We can do things for the environment, for each other, to make our communities more beautiful. We can do those things with a little bit of courage and a little bit of organisation. And we can also start to say, hey, state, hey, government, could we not change the relationship but that we have? Could we not have more organised power in our communities? Could we not have participative democracy? That means why do we not do what the ancient Greeks used to do, which is make decisions together as a whole community, all the citizens having a voice, all the citizens having a vote? Um, would this not lead to better solutions um, and wouldn't it lead to more community, more inclusion? Um, so that's the journey we've begun. Um, it's very early days but a lot of people think we might be at the beginning of uh, a quiet positive revolution for neighbourhood democracy. Adios.